What is a Salesforce administrator? Simply put, they make it possible for users to benefit the most from the Salesforce technology. The person who knows the most about how to use the Salesforce to achieve their company's objectives is the admin or the administrator. So in this session, we will see the step-by-step -step career path of becoming a Salesforce administrator. But before you move on to the session, make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from IntelliPad. So without any further ado, let's get to today's agenda. First comes why become a Salesforce administrator. Then we'll move on to see the learning curve for a Salesforce administrator. And after that, we will see some of the most sought after Salesforce administrator skills. And after that, which we will go through the Salesforce administrator's average job salary ranges. After that, we will move on to see some of the most commonly asked sample interview questions. And then we will move on to see how the future of Salesforce administrator looks like. And then finally, we will have a quick recap of the entire session. Why become a Salesforce administrator? The Salesforce admin positions will increase as the trailblazers continue to expand and have a positive business effect. The typical beginning salary in the United States for the administrators is somewhere around 80,000 to 90,000 US dollars on an average. It's a profession for those who appreciate learning new things and for experts who takes pleasure working with cutting edge technology. Some people pursue their Salesforce administrator certificate in an effort to advance their existing position with an organization and possibly earn a greater income. Others, on the other hand, utilize it to boost their job search and resumes. Retailers, nonprofits, financial services, healthcare providers, software suppliers, and businesses that offer a service are just a few of the many enterprises of all sizes and across all industries that utilize Salesforce. Now let us move on to our next topic, which is learning curve for Salesforce administrators. Now let us go through some of perhaps the most important topic of this session, which is a step-by-step -step process of how to become a Salesforce administrator, even if you're an inexperienced personnel. Let us break down this process into three steps so that it will be much easier to grasp and understand the same, repeat, grasp and understand the same as well. Step one, research and fix a proper training platform. Step two, freely available internet resource usage. And finally, step three, select an appropriate administrator course and apply for the same. Let's see the first step, research and fix a proper training platform. This is the primary step if you are an absolute beginner in the field of Salesforce. Hence, finding a top platform from which you can avail proper training in the Salesforce administration course and also be certified student of the same once you have completed the online training is crucial. And once the training is completed, that is when we are to apply for any of the suited official Salesforce administrator certifications. Step two would be freely available internet resource usage. This could rather be a vague step compared to the previous one and the upcoming ones as well. Since it says to avail the free resources that are available all over the internet regarding the Salesforce administrators. That could include free articles, blogs, YouTube videos, playlists, and so on. Although the more important aspect that is meant when we are talking about the Salesforce administration on the internet would be none other than the resources tab under the homepage of the official Salesforce website itself. When it contains the likes of several useful materials like Salesforce Trailhead, where you can learn several top job demanding skills. Salesforce releases, where you would get ready for all the upcoming releases by accessing all the Salesforce admin resources. Salesforce security, from where you will be able to avail information regarding Salesforce compliance, system statuses, and so on. Finally, Salesforce certifications, which brings us to the final step, 
select an appropriate administration course and apply for the same. In order to become a Salesforce administrator, the Salesforce themselves suggests a bunch of certification which could land you the desired role. Let's go through the names first and then in more details regarding each of the certifications, how they differ from one another, what makes them unique and their individual values and so on. First one is the Salesforce Certified Administrator. Salesforce Administrator Certificate is intended for those with Salesforce experience who are always looking for new ways to help their organizations benefit even more from the new features and capabilities. Second one is the Certified Advanced Administrator. The Salesforce Advanced Administrator credentials is made for seasoned Salesforce administrators who are proficient in using advanced Salesforce features and capabilities to address a range of business issues. Next is the Certified Business Analyst. The Salesforce Company Analyst credentials is intended for certified Salesforce administrators who comprehend business requirements document needs and work with stakeholders to create Salesforce solutions that promote business advancements. Next would be the Certified CPQ Specialist. Those with experience implementing Salesforce CPQ are eligible for the Salesforce CPQ Specialist credential. The certification is a wonderful method to show that you have the abilities and expertise necessary to plan, develop, and implement coding flows using Salesforce CPQ. Next is the Certified Marketing Cloud Administrator. The Salesforce Marketing Cloud Administrator certification is made for administrators who can set up marketing cloud products in accordance, repeat, in accordance with the best practice for the industry and the specific product. Candidates should have a general understanding of subscriber data management's data structure and be capable of navigating setup with ease. Successful account configuration and user request troubleshooting is the domain of the certified marketing cloud administrators. And finally, the certified platform app builder. The Salesforce platform app builder certificate is intended for individuals who can demonstrate expertise in designing, developing, and deploying custom applications using the Salesforce platform's declarative customization features. Hence, these are the various Salesforce suggested certifications that they provide for you to achieve your goal of becoming a Salesforce administrator professional. Now let's look at some of the sought after Salesforce administrator skills in the industry. First comes security. Regular health checks are done by the administrators to evaluate how secure the organization's security settings are. To put the security measures in place that safeguards the data of their firm, they collaborate with the IT department. Managing users. Managing the various types of users that interact with the company's Salesforce setup is one of the key tasks of an administrator. The administrators assign user profiles, set up accounts, give new users their roles in Salesforce, and set up rules that govern user access. To design a great user experience, administrators need to know how their organizations divide teams, how teams use Salesforce to do their jobs, which integration teams need to complete their tasks, and what access each team needs to the platform. Successful reporting of data. Salesforce administrators need to be able to design performance-based reports and dashboards. For instance, they should create reports that confirm the best-selling products, the most valuable prospects, and the most effective marketing strategies. And finally, managing data. Salesforce depends on data. Thus, you must make sure that the right data is collected and kept. The an administrator accomplishes this by assembling the best practice, including validation standards, rules to avoid duplication, 
and rules to make sure that data delivers insights to aid executives in making business decisions. Now let's look at some figures. Salesforce administrator average job salary ranges. Now when it comes to India, the average annual salary that a Salesforce administrator receives is somewhere around 5 lakhs 12,000 rupees annually. Where well, that can range from somewhere between rupees 3 lakhs per annum to as high as 9 lakhs per annum. Whereas in the United States, the Salesforce administrator role pays around 80,000 US dollars annually on an average, where the salary ranges from somewhere between 70,000 US dollars and 100,000 US dollars annually. As we can see, Salesforce administrator role is a high paying job in the United States. Now let's move to our next topic, sample interview questions. Now let's go through some of the sample questions that occur repeatedly in the Salesforce administrator interviews, which may help you to land your dream Salesforce administrator job when you get to attend your next interview for the same. First question is what is a profile? Next one, what is a permission set? Then comes, what is a sharing rule? Then, what is a lookup relationship? Finally, what is a roll-up summary field? Now, let's move to the final topic of the session, future of Salesforce administrator. According to the IDC research manual, the present job demands in the Salesforce ecosystem is expected to generate around 3.3 million jobs by 2022. As one of the most profitable Salesforce job roles, the Salesforce administrator position is anticipated to be the best career choice. And without a doubt, any working professional working in a related industry would agree to the fact that the demand for the Salesforce administrator role is only going upwards in the coming years. So we can safely say that the future of the Salesforce admins looks great. Now let's have a quick recap of the entire session. First, we went through why become a Salesforce administrator. Then we went on to see the step-by-step -step learning curve for the Salesforce administrator job. After which, we went through some of the most sought-after Salesforce administrator skills. After which, we went through the Salesforce administrator average job salary ranges. Then we went through some of the most crucial sample interview questions. Finally, we went through the future of Salesforce administrator. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from IntelliPad. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Salesforce online training mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below.